Hi, I'm Patrick, the author of Marco, Marco Widgets, and Lasso.js. Today, we are going to create a simple web app using the Marco templating engine and the Express Web Framework. Today's focus will be on rendering HTML on the server. This will be the first in a series of screencasts. Let's get started. The first thing we are going to do is create a skeleton Express app. We're going to start with an empty directory. So in our empty directory, we're going to use npm init to create our project's package.json file. We'll use all of the defaults here. And the first dependency we're going to install is Express. So with Express installed, let's create a server.js file, which will be used to start our application server. All right, let's now switch to our editor so that we can start writing some code. All right, in our server.js, we're going to import the Express module. We are going to use the Express module to create an Express app. For now, our simple app is going to have a single route. And for that route, we are going to create some middleware here that will render some text directly to the response output stream. We'll then have our app listen on port 8080. Let's start our server and try it out. All right, so we're listening on port 8080. Let's switch over to a browser. In our browser, we go to localhost 8080, and we see that it says, hello world. So we know we have a working server. Now the next step is to integrate Marco so that we can use Marco to render the view. Now, if we were to put all of our page controllers into our main server.js file, it would get big very fast. So what we're going to do is create a new source directory. And in that source directory, we're going to create a pages directory. So our first page, we're going to call it the home page. And our home page is going to have an index.js file, which is going to use, be used to export the page controller. So we're going to take that code that we wrote earlier, and we're going to move it into our index.js. And back in our server.js file, we are going to require that page controller. Now with that small refactoring out of the way, let's integrate Marco. Back in the terminal, we install the Marco module. The Marco compiler compiles Marco templates into JavaScript modules. In order to load Marco templates, we first need to teach the Node.js module loader how to compile and load Marco templates. So what we're going to do is we're going to say require Marco node require dot install. This will allow Marco templates to be required just like any other JavaScript module. Let's now switch back to our home page controller. And let's create a template in the same directory as our index.js file for the home page. We will name our template template.marco, and we will actually create a full HTML page. So with Marco, you can have dynamic text using the dollar sign token. So we will say hello data.name. The name property will be passed in from our page controller. Since we've installed the Marco Node.js require extension, we can require this template just like any other JavaScript module using a relative path. A loaded template will have a template.render method that we can use to render to the response. So let's get rid of the old code that we added earlier. And instead, we will use the template.render method. The first argument is going to be any template data that you want to pass to the template. So here we're going to pass the name. We'll just use Frank. And the second argument is going to be the output stream that you want to write to. It can also be a callback, but for this example, since we have a response output stream, we will use that as the target stream. Let's now switch back to the command line and try our new code. So we'll start the server again. We start at the server, so now we can reload our page. And we see that we now were able to use Marco to render the HTML. When we go back to our editor, we see that Marco generated a new template.marco.js file. This file is the compiled JavaScript code for our template. 
We can see here that the compile template is a standard, common JS module that uses module.exports to export the loaded template. Let's now make our template a little more interesting. The first thing we're going to do is add an unordered list. Below that, we're going to add a list item. Let's repeat the list item for each color in an array of colors. And to do that, we're going to use the for attribute, which is processed by the Marco template compiler. So we're going to say for color in data.colors. For each iteration of the loop, let's render out the current color below the list item. Let's also make the unordered list conditional using the if attribute and the built-in not empty helper function. If there are no colors, let's render a div. To make that div conditional, we are going to use the else attribute. That way, if the if condition associated with the previous element evaluates to false, then the div will render. Let's now recompile the template to see what it looks like. While we could refresh the page and have the template recompile automatically, let's instead manually recompile the template using the provided command line compiler. So we'll say marco c source pages home template.marco. The Marco template command line compiler is helpful for pre-compiling templates or just to better understand how templates are compiled to JavaScript. Here we see the recompiled template in our editor. You will notice that the if attribute resulted in this if statement being added to our compiled code, the for attribute resulted in this for each function call being added to our code, and finally, the else attribute resulted in this else statement. The goal of the Marco template compiler is to keep the compiled code as readable and as debuggable as possible. If something were to go wrong during rendering, you should easily be able to step through this compiled code and understand what went wrong. To complete this example, let's now update our page controller to pass in an array of colors to our template. So here we add a colors property to our template data model, and we will use an array of colors. We'll just do red, green, and blue. I've restarted the server, so now we can refresh the page. And here we see a bulleted list of colors, so everything worked as expected. There you have it, a simple demonstration of using Marco to render a template on the server. We didn't have to configure Express, and we were able to load a Marco template just like any other JavaScript module. It doesn't get any easier than that. In future screencasts, we will be discussing client-side template rendering, as well as building UI components using the Marco widgets library. Thanks for watching and hope you enjoy using Marco.